Let's say that we have a pay zone and we want to determine a horizontal well path to optimally extract hydrocarbons from this unit. It's not a simple problem. Fortunately, Rockworks 16 has four new tools that will help. Here's how they're used. Select the Compute Horizontal Borehole Path option from the Rockworks 16 Borehole Manager Strip Logs menu. We'll start by using the XYZ Points program to compute points at user-specified intervals for an optimum well. Here's what the program needs. XYZs for the starting location, XY for the ending location, the sampling increment, the radius of curvature that will be used to bend the borehole into the formation of interest, a smoothing factor to get rid of any obnoxious kinks, and grid models representing the top and bottom of the pay zone. The program routes the well along the midline between the top and bottom of the pay zone and displays the results within this table. This data sheet can be plotted with the Utilities Map 3D Points program. By plotting the well path in conjunction with the stratigraphic model, we can see if it's what we had in mind. The Downhole Survey program performs the same computations as the XYZ Points program, but it creates a table which may be used as the Downhole Survey input for a well within the Borehole Manager. This is useful when plotting profiles depicting the well relative to the known stratigraphy. The Plot 2D Well Path program performs the same computations as the XYZ Points program and plots a simple cross-section parallel to the well bearing. The red line shows the well axis while the yellow region depicts the pay zone thickness. Finally, there's a fourth program titled Plot 3D Well Path that plots a 3D log diagram in which the computational increments are shown as spheres. The top of the pay zone relative to the increments are shown as inverted cones. The base of the pay zone are shown as cones and the axis is shown as a tube. And don't forget, you can always press the Google Earth button to project any 3D diagram such as this one directly above its location within Google Earth. In this case, you can see that we created this case study on a small scale to demonstrate applications for horizontal drilling within environmental and hydrogeological applications. Thanks for watching.